The Target, a Shiite cultural center in Afghanistan's capital of Kabul, where hundreds had gathered for an academic seminar. The attackers believed to have used a suicide vest and other bombs. There was a book reading program and academic dialogue, and I was one of the participants. During the speech, a huge bang was heard, and smoke rose from inside the hall. My face was burning. I fell down from the chair, and I saw the other colleagues around me on the ground. The center also houses the Afghan Voice News Agency. It's not clear if the news outlet was specifically targeted. A journalist working in the center described the attack. When the explosion went off, we escaped from the room where we were working and went to the rooftop. We saw smoke and flames coming from the basement. We went to help and see what was happening there. When we got there, the situation was very bad. In a statement released online, ISIL claimed credit for the attack, saying the center was used to recruit fighters taking on ISIL in Syria and Iraq. The predominantly Sunni ISIL has targeted Shiite Muslims repeatedly in recent years. The terrorist group has seen major defeats on the ground in Iraq and Syria, but has become a growing threat in Afghanistan. U.S. President Donald Trump has increased the number of U.S. forces in Afghanistan to about 15,000. And in a speech earlier this month, he claims the strategy is working. Afghanistan, which is, was a disaster, would make a lot of progress in Afghanistan, just like we have with getting ISIS out of Iraq, getting ISIS out of Syria, knocking the hell out of them. But the troops have been largely focused on fighting ISIL fighters in the north and east, while the terrorist group has increased its attack in urban areas of Afghanistan, including the capital. Afghanistan's President Ashraf Ghani is calling the attack a, quote, crime against humanity. The White House is condemning the attack and says the U.S. will work with the government in Afghanistan to bring those behind the attack to justice. Jim Spellman, CGTN, Washington.